I encourage a six man parlay. So I'm gonna guys gonna give you six for WNBA and six for MLB. Hope you guys are able to mix and match and pick your favorites. But these are the six I'm gonna be rolling for each sport. I'm probably gonna mix and match another slip as well. So for WNBA, we're gonna start off with points props, and I actually have two of them. And my first one is gonna be under Sophie Cunningham at 13.5. I have her going under. She's been struggling lately. I think she's also she's dealing with a minor injury as well. She is going against a Minnesota team, and I have her going under in points. 13.5 needs 14 to beat us. Uh, my next one is Sug Sudden. I have her going under as well. She's more known for as an enforcer, grabbing rebounds. Not much, not much for her scoring. Uh, she did have 10 against Minnesota the last time she played out. Uh, but she, like I said, she's not much of a scorer. So I have her going under on points. Uh, my next one is under rebound props. And it's going to be for... Let's see. One of my favorite ladies in the WNBA, Aja Wilson from the Aces, 10.0 rebounds. I have her going over. She's hit this mark for the five. I mean, she does it all. She assists, rebounds, points. Uh, but I have her going over on rebounds. This might get bumped to 10.5, so hopefully you guys get it at 10.0, so you guys can have some push equity just in case. So I have her rebounds going over. Uh, my next one is Nafisa Collier at 8.0. This might get bumped to 8.5 as well. She is going against the Phoenix team. She had 9 against them, but she usually averages between 8 to 10 rebounds a game. So I have her going over. Phoenix is a horrible team. I think she'll get more than 8 rebounds. And my last two will be on fantasy props. And first one I'm gonna go with is Kelsey Mitchell at 24.5 going against Washington. I have her under. She had one massive game against Chicago, but I see her regressing. I don't think she's gonna hit her line because she usually averages between 18 to 22 on fantasy points. So I have her going under in fantasy. And then my last one will be Nalissa Smith going over 28. She's hit this four of the five, usually averages 30 fantasy points per game. So I have her going over in fantasy. So these are the six I'm gonna roll with for WNBA. Sophie Cunningham, less points, Suck Sutton, less points, AJ Wilson, over rebounds. Fisa Collier, over rebounds, Kelsey Mitchell, under fantasy, and Alyssa Smith, over fantasy. So those are the six I'm rolling with for WNBA. Now my six for MOB. We're going to start off with hitter props, and my favorite one is Sandy Alcantara at six strikeouts. He's been averaging, what? 4.5 of 5 on price picks for the past month. Now he's at 6. He did have a good game where he had what, 6 strikeouts, 2 games. But I don't see him getting 7. Against, he needs 7 to beat us against the Phillies. So I have him going under. Next one is Luis Modina. He's at 3.5. Oh, Phoenix is going to get bumped to 4. Let's hit this. He's averages 4. He is going against a Boston team, but he's at, he's faced a couple pretty good teams that make contact, the Blue Jays and the Rays, and he was able to cover this line. So to get it at this kind of 3.5, this is good. You can cash on this. But if it gets hit to 4, you're looking at push equity. Just keep that in mind. So I have him more. Hopefully you guys get him at 3.5. Then my next one is Andrew Abbott at 7 strikeouts. A little bit high for a rookie, but he has been trending up, and he's had multiple double digit strikeouts twice and the Brewers do strike out a lot and they haven't faced them before and the way he's trending up I do have him clearing seven strikeouts 
I don't see him getting double digits, but I think he's gonna get over seven strikeouts. So I have him over. My next one is Dylan Cease, also at seven strikeouts. Dylan Cease is more known as a strikeout pitcher, and he is going against Cardinals. Unfortunately, Cardinals have been horrendous this season. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna clear this line at 7.0. He's hit this out four to the five, but Dylan Cease is known to strike out more than eight batters a game. He's got some nasty stuff. Going against a, a weak Cardinals team, I have him going over. And my last two will be one for hits allowed and one for pitching outs. And for hits allowed, it's gonna be Tony Gonsolin at 4.5. I have a feeling this might get bumped to 5.0. If it gets 1 to 5 points, they're already looking at push equity. So same thing with Luis Medina. Hopefully you guys get this before the bump. I have him going over. Let's hit 4 of the 5. Over. And my last one is pitching outs. And it's going to be for Jordan Montgomery. At 17.5. I have him going over. He's been on a roll. He's been on a streak. He's the only one on the Cardinals staff that's doing well. So he usually pitches between six and seven innings. That's all we need here to clear. If he hit six innings, we clear this line. So I have him going over. He is going against the White Sox team. Uh, White Sox are a hit and miss. I mean, you never know what team it's gonna, they're going to show up, which hitting team is going to show up. Because they do strike out a lot as well. So I have him clearing six innings, and they should crop up. Uh, should cash for us or you can also look at his um, if you don't want to take his pitching outs you can also look at his pitcher fantasy score is also good as well like I say he's been trending up and it's pretty low at 29.5 so this might get bumped to 30 as you can see he's been clearing this line at 40 so his pitching fantasy score might be better to be honest with you than his pitching props pitching outs so it's up to you you can take either either or they're both good but the Pitcher fantasy looks like he's average 44. I mean, that's a bigger differential. So yeah, those are my six for MLB and Sandy under strikeouts, Luis Medina over strikeouts, Andrew Abbott over strikeouts, Cease over strikeouts, Gonsolin over hits allowed, and Montgomery over pitching outs. Or you can look into his pitcher fantasy score over, which might be a better option. Mix and match with the WNBA. Pick your favorites. Do your due diligence. Remember, it's Flex Friday, so it's a protected play up to $20. If you lose, you still get that tomorrow in promo funds. So you got nothing to lose. Uh, pick your favorites, and good luck. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.